Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use your Android phone to connect to your Windows laptop to use it as a webcam. Now the reason I need to use this is my laptop webcam is not working. It's showing an error message every time I try to use it. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to need two softwares, one to be installed on your Android phone, the other one by the same company that's going to be installed on your Windows 10 laptop. Here we have the software in question. It's called the DroidCam Wireless Webcam. I'm going to leave links in the description below so you can click on that. So I've already installed this software onto my Windows 10 laptop. The similar software by the same company is on my Android device. Let me show you. There we go. It's called the Droid Cam or Wireless Webcam. It's already installed on my phone as well. Now, a couple of things you need to do uh, for this to be detected by your laptop. You need to enable USB debugging. So the way you're gonna find that is in your settings. You go to your settings all the way down to system. Now first you're gonna have to enable developer options. I've already have it enabled, but I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway. So it's in the about phone section, scroll down to software information and the build number, you gotta tap it seven times. As you can see, there's a message that says no need because I already have it enabled. So just remember build number seven times. All right, I'm gonna set this down for a second and I'm gonna show you the same setting on a MIUI device or a Xiaomi device. So you go on a Xiaomi device again into settings and you go into about phone and then you gotta hit MIUI version. All right, that's where you're gonna find it over here on Xiaomi device, not in, on build number, but on MIUI version. So I'm gonna tap here. As you can see, I already have it enabled, so I don't need to do it anymore. All right, getting back to our Android phone that we're gonna use today, the Asus Zenfone 5Z. So we've got the software enabled, installed rather on the laptop. Also, we have it installed on my phone. So let's start the software here, Droid Cam Client, as you can see. I'm gonna click that. I need to start the same software on my phone as well. So I'm gonna go here and click on Droid Cam. All right, there we go. That's all you gotta do over here. If you want, you can switch off the display or you can even dim the display over here. You tap it one more time, it comes back on. So dim it if you don't wanna use it and double tap and it's back. All right, I'm gonna set my camera down for a second. And here you gotta make sure that you're, you've clicked on the USB symbol. It says right here when you hover, connect over USB. So I've already clicked on that and I'm gonna hit start. And just like that, my camera is focused. I'm gonna put my wave my fingers so you know it's a live video and it's focusing so you can uh, get that started now that you've got it started you just gotta hit minimize and then go about your business you can use it with skype with zoom with whatever so i'll show you how to use it on skype so let me get skype started and video there you go as you can see the Skype also has the same video from my Android phone. So if you see in the corner over here, you can actually click on the source and it gives you options. You can either use the computer's webcam or you can use the phone. So it's on DroidCam as the source and hence I'm getting the video from my phone. As you can see, the clarity is much, much better as compared to a webcam that's installed on your laptop. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps. Uh, the times are such that we need to work from home and perhaps you need to get a better camera. So I think this is a fantastic option. All credit goes to the guys who made the software. Uh, do support them. You can leave a five-star rating if you found the software helpful. And stay home, guys. Stay safe. And we'll catch you on my next video. Thank you guys, thank you very much.